scans perfectly. Placement, perfect as well. This is the lifeline, uh -oh. this is one gold difference. It's not the best of the saves, but nobody right now is coming for that. Four on the side of Fortnite gang. They prefer to play safe, and that safety is part of them. Jay, another hat trick, and in style as well. LCT. Amazing handling of that ball. Knowing exactly where to place that shot. And just like that, one in the ages are back in. Three to three. Falling apart. And the ages better get themselves together and try and glue those cracks. Otherwise, it will be Fortnite Gang taking a 3-0 sweep here in the semis to go to the winners' finals again to face off against another one NE Force. He's realized while well, he wants his chance. Look at this amazing aerial dribble straight from the orange half to the blue net. And as you say, demolition on the part of Fortnite Gang. This is looking worse and worse as things go on. Campaign here in our upper bracket finals. It's game three. See who's going to go to match point at this one here. It's Hargan with a good challenge and that opportunity towards the blue net to the backboard. He gets a second touch and that's more like it. Six seconds in, one and he start the pressure. Gave up space in front of their field. Wait a second, that's on target. That's Oh no, what? I mean, he deserves that. With a pinch like that, it's, it's been a showcase for pinches today. We saw realized previously Killer Cupid had to rush there. He didn't believe it. He took a second to really process what was happening, and the moment he really figured it out, he just beamed it out there. Their spirits as well, some beautiful stuff from Pia. I mean, to be fair, that defensive, it was a slow enough ball to the point where it should have been uh, easily read, so... I'm gonna, gonna put a bit of blame, blame the Fortnite gang for that one, and not can't put them on towards the plane for that one, and they're there. Uh, wow, let me see if I can do the words properly here, champ. I can't put Blemon to them for this defensive. Chaotic with a nice stop, and Harlan was so ready for it. They were expecting that to go to the right hand side of the field. They had all of their defensive put towards that corner. Stone cold to the clock, it's 42. Though, we'll try to take one back. Hargan with a boom off to the post, and Chaotic in no position to take control of this. Hargan will try to be a thorn in the side of the defensive as it tries to turn to the midfield on a counter attack. Here comes Realize. Great control on the flip reset! And now we have a game here. Fortnite gang! In a matter of about 45 seconds or so to the clock, have got us back in an even 3 3 on our game board. Which for his clear, we'll put it onto the right hand side of the net. Zane, sideboard, 73 points of boost, got a perfect opportunity to strike down here, but no. Cupid, there with his save, and LCT will just get shoved out of the way. Fortnite Gang trying to find their way back out. Oh, he still gets the flip reset! No boost, I didn't think he'd connect with that! And Aegis will start things off on the right foot. Just shows how much extra movement that flip can give you in the air. Lovely stuff. Times it well. Again, wait until the last possible moment. I think realize what I was also thinking. This is not happening. But at some point, that flip would have beaten a defender because the defender would just not be going at realized. And on the other end of the field, ah, he's shot like that for breakfast. And this is the only reason I can explain why he's so good at them. One and then two. Two doesn't even come into the equation until the last possible moment where Zane can even do anything down to the pressure of the final game. Zane gives it hard. The they just are in their own heads, I feel like. One and eight. Being allowed full control of this chaos in the backboard. Oh, what a play! What a play! Chaotic! Backboard touch, backflip in. <laughs> you don't get much better than that in Rocket League. All to the backboard, LCT will respond into the center line. Block off, trying his best to dribble past Chaotic, and he will get it past him. Second shot as well! Okay, I thought that that play, that sequence of two goals from Chaotic, was going to spiral the situation out of control for one in the main. But LCT has turned the heat up to 11 the same, and now he's been in one single goal of equalizing against the main team. In your favor, or to lose it out of your grasp completely. This is the future. LCT and Zane for the kickoff. Here we go. Shot to the right hand side, and just like that, Aegis are back in. They will not die so easy. Ten goals scored, five apiece for each side. And 49 seconds to the clock. We're not done just yet here, Jam. Showing that no shot can come in from Zane, and the ball will hit the floor. We are on. 
for one final overtime perhaps again for one any &E, it's about victory for ages it's about survival as our third overtime comes to a conclusion in just seven seconds chaotic with the redirect and one ne main will be your champions of the auroras cup a brilliant performance from them in this bracket contested to the end but in the end they show up big